Hey, if you do retweets past 12 o'clock, man, you feel me? Go hit my boy Demi up. Oh, my goodness. Hey, tip for y'all today, word of mouth. Y'all see we just got our brand out, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all get y'all brand out. Tight, I lied to y'all boys, man. This is my final form right here. I honestly ain't even want to record right now at first, bro, because I was like, bro, it's a day in life. It got to be structured. Y'all got to see me wake up, and then y'all got to see me go to sleep type activity. But it was like, bro, it's 3.50 in the morning, as y'all can see. 3.51 in the morning here in Texas. I can show them the early, early a.m., and then I can show them the normal a.m. This is not me faking it for the camera. This is not rap cap. This is very much real. I be up throughout hours of the night. You can ask anybody. You can ask Ja. You can ask my brother. Anybody y'all know that y'all know I associate with, y'all can ask them. I'll be up all hours through the night. Uh, just because I find peace at night. I find peace at night. I can get the things I got to get done. The traffic not going. People not talking to me. You feel me? I can just get my work done. Do the things I got to do. And be like at peace with it. But just now, I just finished up editing this video. Uh, I did the mock edit. And then I got to send it to my editor. He do all the effects and all that stuff. But I just pretty much, I just pretty much cut the things out that I don't want in the video. So this video should be out. If it's not out, I'm going to make sure that I put it at the end of this video card. I mean, if it is out, it'll be at the end of the video. So I can click on this video. This video will basically teach y'all how to start a clothing brand with $200 or less. Make sure y'all go watch that, man. As of right now, honestly, I'm finna call it a night. It is 3.52. Tomorrow, I know I got a lot of things to do as far as content-wise. I got some new samples in and all those different things, and I gotta get content for that. But yeah, but they'll pretty much end the night, end the day of, or whatever it's called, of a realistic clothing brand owner day in their life. But I'm gonna tap in with y'all boys when I get up in the morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Like I told y'all boys last night, bro, I'm gonna tap in with y'all when I get up in the morning, and it is officially, what time is it? 10.56, I woke up about 30 minutes ago, handled my hygiene, washed my face, showered, did all that good stuff. And pretty much right now, officially finna get up out the bed and get started with my day. Last night, instead of going to sleep after I put down the camera, I actually came inside my room, turned on the TV, turned on the TV and I started watching Dre the Shooter YouTube videos on Postscript and he gave so much game, bro. I set up a few pop-ups, a few automations, like I actually went deeper into the actual Postscript app and deeper into the Postscript settings and set up some way better automations than I had set up before. So if y'all need help with y'all Postscript, y'all need help with y'all SMS, y'all can DM me on IG and I can help y'all out with that. As y'all can see, I was definitely setting some things up, working on that as well, trying to get my TFN verified on my new account and all that. But that's not too important, man. It is a beautiful day. I want y'all boys to thank God for this day that y'all waking up watching this video right now. But I don't really got too much to do today. Later on today, I gotta head out to like go market and do some marketing with my friends. I gotta check my PO box and I know I got a scene package I've been waiting on that I wanted to open up on camera with y'all boys. So just make sure y'all stay tuned throughout the entire video. Like, comment, subscribe. And let's just get to it. Before I can even get all the way out of bed and make up my bed and go eat some breakfast, bro, I'm already kind of responding to these emails that, was, that I sent out last night to Postscript to get my TFN updated because there was some issues. But yeah, pretty much right now, I'm handling some emails from my clothing brand, responding to some emails. That way, everything can be smooth and updated as I go on throughout the rest of the day. But right now, like I just said, I'm just basically trying to get my Postscript uh, TFN verified, and I'm also trying to get some customers transferred from my old Postscript account to my new Postscript account. So that's how we're waking up this morning. Hopefully, I can get everything set up with the Shopify TFN and all that good stuff today. I'm trying to get the SMS stuff like ready to go today. But yeah, like I said, it's 11 o'clock now. I need some breakfast, bro. Usually for breakfast, I don't go too crazy because I feel like breakfast is kind of like a day starter. So if you eat something way too heavy, you kind of go feel slumped and tired throughout the rest of the day. So I try to start my morning off with something smooth, like some oatmeal or some cereal or just some actual um, fruit. But today, I got fruit in here. So yeah, I don't got no bananas. I need to go re up on some bananas. If y'all know, bro, a banana is the best fruit in the world. I can eat a banana any day of the week, any time of the day. But I got an apple right now. In a little bit, I think I'm gonna hit the Smoothie King because I gotta get something in my system and I don't got nothing in my refrigerator. All right, so I guess this is pretty much why I start my day at my first part of the morning, my first part of my morning grind and everything like that. I started right here in this exact seat or I'll actually be over there on my, at my desk or on the couch. But to start my day, I pretty much start with a full, complete checklist that I got to go through to kind of like feel sort of satisfied about myself. 
excuse me, for the workload that I put in, this consists of going through my emails, doing some things for my mentorship, doing some things for my brand and everything like that. But pretty much, I turn my tunes on. So Alexa, play Drake, and then I get to work. Which I already know I can't even play the Drake on this actual YouTube video because they're gonna try to copyright me and take all my money from the video that I'm making, you feel me? I'm not even making that much money off of it. So how y'all gonna take money now? I'm not even making for real. But I start my checklist of pretty much going through all my Gmail. I think that's the first thing everybody should do when they wake up because this is pretty much what all the business is gonna be. Promos, sponsorships, replies, customers are all going to be in the Gmail. So I go ahead and go through my Gmail app for the day I wake up. Look through it. I looked at my personal email. I looked at my business email. And then I go ahead and looked at my brand email as well. So that's what I'm knocking out right now. I ain't have too much to look into today. I don't see a lot. I got some bank statements in. Credit Karma sending me emails about something. A whole lot of cash app notifications that got to be removed. And yesterday, bro, yesterday I wanted to hoop, right? So I went to Fitness Connection and I had to sign up for a membership. So I'm thinking, okay, cool. I signed up for this $20 membership and then I'm good, right? I can hoop today and I can hoop for the rest of the month. They say it's a 12-month contract. 12-month contract. I'm not getting on a 12-month contract to go to no gym and play basketball. That's insane work. So I'm in the works of canceling that subscription now ASAP. Here, if I got to do it, I got to do it. But yeah, just check my emails. It pretty much wasn't nothing in there. And then I go ahead and do like a financial audit for myself. If you guys are like managing your own finances, I suggest you guys use the app Rocket Money. It tells you what's coming in, what's coming out, what you expected to pay to somebody, what you are expected to make in a few days. It just kind of gives you like some basic information on like your current financial situation. So I check it every single morning when I get up so I know how much I kind of got to make today to keep rolling or how much somebody do have to take out of my account or this bill about to come up or whatever it is. I just use Rocket Money to manage it because I feel like it's a lot easier than having to write every single thing down myself and that's also one thing that i encourage you guys to do as brand owners is to like actually track your finances actually actually track how much money you're making actually track how much you're spending because if you're just making a whole lot of money and you're just not seeing it work for you or you're not seeing it work or do anything at all it's just sitting or it's just going to waste it's bad money. You was better off not even making the money if you was just gonna waste it. So make sure y'all actually paying attention to what's going on inside y'all financial situation. Along with checking my financial, like my financial apps, my banks, rocket money and all that, I also check my credit score to make sure my credit is good and everything. I go to Credit Karma, check that out. I'm looking at it right now, everything good. So if y'all need some help with y'all credit, y'all can DM me. I got a 750 at 19. Just, we can DM me, we can work something out. After I go ahead and check my email and like do my financial audit, I go ahead and create my story post for the day. Basically my story post is whatever I'm gonna be like helping people with today, whether it's manufacturers, ads, SMS, calls, whatever it is, it goes for my story so my audience knows like, yo bro, I'm helping y'all with this today, just DM me, we can work something out. Today is Monday, so I do talk about manufacturers every single Monday to my audience. Basically, I'm gonna cook something up about how important it is having a good manufacturer on your side and the confidence that you bring. And of course, I'm gonna let them know to DM me if you actually need those manufacturers. You guys as well watching this video, if you need some manufacturers, scroll down, first link inside of the description. Mine and D, my manufacturers, my resources are inside that link. All right, so you was able to get that actual post up, like I just said. Basically, I just gave some game on how to kind of like set up and run your pre-orders for your clothing brand. I'm sorry for that video interrupting. I don't know if you guys are hearing me. But basically, on that post, I just gave people pretty much the game that they needed to like set up pre-orders for their clothing brand. And I made sure to highlight that you got to have some manufacturers that can do good work for you. So that was the story post. So if y'all follow my IG, make sure y'all stay tuned to my story because it would be a lot of game on there as well. After I do that, I usually go to my DMs because I be having like 20, 30, 40, almost 50 DMs to respond to every single day. So I'm going to go through these right now, answer them while listening to my Drake. I was talking to Dre the Shooter about how to actually transfer the postscripts to subscribers and he was saying that they might not even be able to bro. So let's hope that, and let's hope and pray, everybody cross their fingers, that postscript will transfer my subscribers from my first account to my second account. All right, so while you guys are watching this video bro, there's some con it is some DMs that I really dislike when people send me, I really dislike when people just send me a, a DM that says, I wanna start a clothing brand. Yeah, I get you wanna start a clothing brand, but what does that mean, what does that mean for me? We kinda gotta learn how to communicate bro, because you're coming to me and you're wanting me to respond to that DM. Luckily, I do check my DMs and I do respond, but it's a lot of brand owners who don't check their DMs and they don't respond, and they're definitely not going to respond to a message that says, oh, I want to start my clothing brand. You gotta actually tell me what you need help with, what you're struggling with, so I can figure out what you act, so I can figure out what I actually need to put you on, that way we can work something out together. Who's ready, who's not ready, who's going, who's not going? You plan on being a fourth? Um, what's going on, fellas? <laughs> All right, bro, so pretty much, the group chat going around crazy. It's not really going crazy, but we just trying to figure out what's going on because some people being consistent, not responding and everything like that. 
We're trying to figure out what's going on. Because we're supposed to be linking up at 12 o'clock. So we're trying to figure out what's going on with everything. Who's showing up, who's not showing up, and everything like that. But I just pretty much got through all my DMs. So now I'm going to go ahead and knock out the next thing on my checklist. All right, man. So I got Ty sitting in the same seat. Nobody want to sit in the same seat all morning, bro. But pretty much right now, I'm going to get ready to put a fit on so I can go out with the guys and go do the things we got to do. Um, but... Right now, I'm at the post inside my school. Every single day, every single morning, I get inside my school community, I give them some game, I give them some updated information with what I got going on and what I'm working on with my clothing brand, just so they can be working on the same thing and building their brand and growing their brand as I build and grow my brand. So when I be talk, when, so in these YouTube videos, when I be telling y'all to join the school, it's because it's actual real life game in there that you guys could apply and use for your clothing brand. Like today, I'm gonna be talking about pre-orders because I recently dropped a video on it, so I'm gonna give them some more game and some more tips and some more strategies on how to actually win your chargebacks when they come to the pre-orders because that is going to be a big issue leading forward if you are running pre-orders. Like I said, the game that I'm giving the school to is going to be on how to avoid the actual chargebacks for running your pre-orders. So I'm going to give you all the same information I'm giving them. So basically, I just went ahead and put the title. It says pre-order chargebacks. Um, and I'm just basically explaining like, yo, bro, if you get a lot of pre-orders on your Shopify charge, if you get a lot of pre, if you, gotta, if you get a lot of, I keep stuttering. If you get a lot of chargebacks on your pre-orders, like I think it's like 5% of chargebacks, Shopify will hold your funds and then they will close the account if you keep getting extra pre-orders. So I'm gonna explain that real quick. So in this message, I basically say, yo, if you do end up running a pre-order, there are a couple of things you need to do to avoid getting your funds held from Shopify. First thing you need to do is be transparent with your customers. The reason that you're gonna get a lot of chargebacks is because customers are gonna feel like, yo, bro, this brand is scamming me. They told me two to four days and it's been two to five weeks on my products. So you wanna make sure that first thing first, you are being very, very transparent with your customers throughout this process. I'm about to type that up real quick. Also, the, another thing that you wanna do is make your shipping time apparent on your actual Shopify website. Do not have your customers scrolling around trying to figure out, oh, how long did this product take to actually ship out? Put it somewhere on your website. When they're about to check out and you know they gotta check their shipping method, put four to 10 business days or 20 to 30 business days, however long it takes to actually run the pre-order. And third, you wanna have your policy set up in a way that can protect you when these chargebacks actually do come in. So in my Shopify policies, I made sure to put on my shipping, refund, and return policy that I don't do refunds or returns unless the product is damaged. But when it comes to shipping, if it's a pre-order, the shipping will take 20 to 30 business days. I give myself so much leeway and leverage because I don't want my manufacturer, even though he's good and does great work, any manufacturer is capable of making mistakes. So I give my time, I give myself the extra leeway in my Shopify policies to have those extra business days just in case something goes wrong. You guys should do the same exact thing with your clothing brand. And that's pretty much the wrap of that. I went ahead and sent that to my school so they're gonna see that and get the notification right now to their phone. So the same game I just gave y'all, I just gave to my school community, but I, I was a little more in depth on here than I can be with y'all. But some more tips as well. Uh, on, on, when y'all are promoting y'all product on TikTok and on Instagram, make sure you're telling these people that, hey, this product is gonna take this long so they aren't expecting a product to take less than that. Because when they shop and they feel like, oh, it's been five days, I still ain't got my product, they gonna instantly want to charge back. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick an outfit out right now. I don't wanna put on nothing too crazy because I gotta go run to DFW. All right, man, so the fit is officially picked up. I got everything on for the feet. The babe says, I know y'all probably tired of seeing these, but honestly, I don't care, bro. Like, why would I go spend another three hundred dollars on a pair of shoes? And I barely be outside. I be inside on this MacBook. I carry my mornings with me because I like driving in them rather than driving in these. Uh, I got these sacred mohair flares. Uh, they're double waisted as well. And then I got this com conflicted skinny tee. It's the black and pink one. I love it. But yeah, that's pretty much what's on body right now, bro. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, I'm not even a get together. Fit of the day, fit, spin around, fit of the day type of dude. Really, I just come on this app. I'm really more into the logistics sides of owning a clothing brand and running a clothing brand than the aesthetics of it. But yeah, this is what I got on right now, bro. Postscript just emailed me and they was like, oh, we see that you got two accounts. Why you got two accounts? You're not supposed to have two accounts. So I had to explain to them that, oh, the old account was closed, so I can't even use that now. So I'm trying to run th stuff through this new account. So I don't get like, they don't try to hand me and say I can't use Postscript no more. But yeah, pretty much I'm still waiting for the connections in the group chat, bro. It seems like when it comes to black people making plans, black people just not good at making plans. Like somebody gonna be inconsistent, something gonna happen, something unfortunate gonna happen or whatever. We just gotta do better as a people. I'm gonna be honest, we gotta do better as a people when it comes to making plans. I tried to make 
make a couple trips, a couple plans to make trips this year with my homeboys. None of them went through. Uh, tried to make a trip with my brother, didn't go through. Tried to make a trip with some other people, didn't go through, bro. So look, black people, we gotta do better as a group when it comes to making plans together, bro. But yeah, but yeah, pretty much right now I'm gonna sit back down and wait for the group chat to actually let me know what's to move, and then I'm gonna head out when they let me know too. I actually lied to y'all, boys, man. I lied to y'all. I'm not gonna actually sit down and get no work done right now. I got this package that I ordered from Sheen, bro, because I was scrolling through TikTok one day, and I'm gonna show y'all the exact thing that I seen scrolling through TikTok. So I was scrolling through TikTok and I seen this, right? So I zoomed in, I took a screenshot, I zoomed in, I'm looking at the hoodie, I'm like, bro, this does not look like my color brand hoodie. This look like some type of screen print, and the zipper is obviously black, and I don't even know what's on the face, or if it even has a satin hood, bro. But I was like, bro, that is not my color brand hoodie. So I went and texted the dude and I asked him, I was like, yo, bro, where you get that hoodie from? And he said, Sheen. I'm like, bro, ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way that Sheen done took my clothing brand piece and put it on their website. So I had to go do the research for myself and I went and looked and by surprise, they had the exact product on their website. So today, I'm about to open this up on camera right now for y'all boys, man. This is gonna be another one of them I kinda don't know how to feel moments because I'm like, bro, yeah, it is good that Sheen got my clothing brand so they seen my clothing brand piece and it was good enough for them to steal and put on their website. But Sheen is making money off a product that I designed, you feel me? So, but it's a whole entire process to go through it, get a trademark, hire a trademark attorney. You're gonna have to spend thousands of dollars on that just to not even really get too much off the lawsuit. But let's open it up, man. So it came in a white package first, and then it comes in this Sheen packaging. They couldn't even put my clothing brand packaging on her. They put the Sheen packaging on her. And off rip, I'm looking at the zip up and I'm feeling it. And it's just not P. It's just not competitive levels quality. Let's open it up. You don't get no business card. You don't get no sticker. You don't get no nothing, bro. This is the hoodie, the full zip hoodie right here. Oh my goodness, bro. I don't even know what type of printed material this is. This is not screen print. I don't know what this is. It seems like it's like in the actual hoodie. Like, I don't know what it is. The zipper is gray. There's no satin hood on the inside. Overall, bro, this hoodie is not what I expected to be at all, bro. So if you watching this video right now and you ordered a piece from my clothing brand from Sheen, don't do it again, bro. Look at the quality of this piece. No custom zipper. It's a super lightweight hoodie. It barely make noise when it drop on the ground. Let me try it on real quick. Do I even want to try this on? Because don't they be having like child labor stuff going on at Sheen and all that? I don't even know if I want that on my resume. Oh snap, hold on. This is the full zip on um, body. Comfortability wise, it is comfortable, but it's a lightweight material. It's not the material that's on our actual full zips. Let me go grab the full zip actually so I can show y'all the side by side comparison. I don't even have like the official piece that we dropped because the official piece came with custom tags, uh, custom, what's the thing called? Custom zipper and everything. But this was the first sample that we got of this hoodie. And the first sample that we got is way better than anything that Sheen could ever produce. This is a super duper high quality hoodie. I'm not sure how much GSM is on it, but it's a heavyweight hoodie. You can see that these is good stitches of embroidery, good satin hood on the inside, good embroidery right there. This one right here is just terrible. Overall, y'all gotta let me know what y'all what y'all rate these hoodies, bro. What y'all rate the Sheen hoodie versus our hoodie, bro? So right now, pretty much I did get that call from our group of individuals. So pretty much right now I'm gonna head actually to downtown Fort Worth. I'm gonna grab some sand. Oh, your boy had a breath, hold on. My bad, so yeah, right now, I'm about to head out to downtown Forest, hop in a whip, drive, let me go ahead and lock down the crib, close everything, make sure nobody run up in here and take nothing or none of that like that, you feel me? Lock down the crib, but yeah, I'm gonna head to downtown Forest with some of the guys, I'm gonna pick up the camera when I get there. So I lied to y'all boys, man, this is my final form right here. Marty's on the feet, sacred mohairs, Louis V bag, conflicted T. And yeah, now I'm finna head out. I'm gonna tap in which I wanna get to my destination. It's a beautiful little day in Texas, bro. The sun out, you feel me? The wind blowing, it ain't too hot, ain't too cold. It was raining hard two days ago. Then the sun was out two days before that. So, honestly, Texas weather be so bipolar, bro. But yeah, like I said, I'm finna head to my destination. I'm gonna tap in, pick up the camera when I get there. But y'all see where we at, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, got, we got the gang with us, man. Come on, GZ. we deep. We deep. GZ! We over here. We deep, man. I'm on Demi Vlog, man. Like I said, bro. Y'all boys keep watching Demi. Keep subbing at Demi. See? Keep doing everything with my boy Dim Dim. Okay. Yo, that boy right. came official. Damn, no cap. <laughs> we'll that boy official. 
What you got a ZV one too? Yes. That boy, oh my gosh, brother, Texas Tech commit right here. Literally, look, he gonna be the next CD Lamb. And I'm gonna be the next. What the fuck? This nigga don't know ball. I know. This nigga don't know ball. What? This gonna be the next Tom Brady. Man. Look at this thing. You gotta go in. Holy shit. What's going on, bro? What you gotta say to the vlog, E? First of all, I just wanna say, I'm blessed, nigga. I'm blessed, y'all, nigga. I'm happy. New Mexico boring. Dangerous man right there. But yeah, yeah, your neck. Ooh, that boy, he got the dreads out, man. Hey, if you do retwists past 12 o'clock, man, you feel me? Go hit my boy Demi up. You feel me? Don't hit me. Don't hit him up. If you do a, if you do hair extensions, make sure to hit my line. I do need extensions. <laughs> if you do extensions on me and... Hey, man, yo, what's going on? next location. Next location. Is that kid? Hey, yo! Who the hell is that? Hey, tip for y'all today, word of mouth. Y'all see we just got our brand out, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all get y'all brand out. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. 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 Back with some people from high school. It actually, hey, it's cool as hell, bro. It's been a little minute, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, we good, but how y'all doing, though? How y'all doing, chat? Let me know. <laughs> let, me, let, me know the, let me know in the comments section down below. Hey, make sure y'all actually tell me how y'all feeling, because I'm going to go to this comment and look. So make sure y'all comment something right now. Stop the video and comment. How are you doing today? I'm, I'm wondering. I'm asking. Please, comment right now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get it. Right, I'm, I'm going to give y'all a quick little method, a quick little trick. So, boom, so I just took a random photo. Actually, I'm, I'm going to grab a better photo one sec. Hold on. Let me see. All right, boom. So this right here, right? And then I got presets. So I got all these presets right here. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to figure out which one's the hardest. See how everything changed? Mm -hmm. uh, you see that kind of him right yeah. there. That's, that, hey, that's the hardest freak. Yeah. And then low exposure? Nah, hell nah. Mmm, that's him. Yeah, that's him. Look, oh, that'd be crazy. That's him. Nigga, look. Look how my shirt changed. Yeah. Look how everything now matches. Yeah, that's All right. that shit. Man, stop playing, man. Hey, hey man. I'm telling y'all. Hey, I ain't giving out the preset, though. No light presets room. for y'all. Lightroom. Adobe Lightroom. Go do what you gotta do. What, what, what he was thinking? He thought I wasn't gonna stop him? Nah, bro. I'll tell you what y'all, bro. Hey, I know. He said give it up. Yeah, yeah, what, hey, what's the tip for? Okay. Oh, it's free! Oh, look, look, look. Hey, 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 you let off, you let off. Put it, put it, put it. Put it, put it. Bro, we've been struggling to find a location for like the last 30 minutes or so. We're trying to find a little situation so we can get somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we're in the spot. This is my right here. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you got with the glasses on. Who are you? Okay, oh my god. Who's that? Yeah, George Floyd. Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Okay, my nigga. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Okay. How to hold it, hold it, Okay. You don't got to cut. You don't got to cut. I got rich, dude. Come on. They was tripping over. They was tripping over. They said we gotta get 18% grand too automatically. Now, now, we, now we gotta see their services first before we tip. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's a whole, that's what they should present. But if it's separate, it might be like, yeah. yeah. Well, that's not bad. I don't know if I want to give them a free break. I mean, we can do it. We here. Yeah, separate. What's that they gonna do? I mean, they ain't too many. We can see what else. Yeah, 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 we can see what else.
Man, she over there working. Yeah. Oh, people start to do that. I didn't even know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, y'all do not know them. Yes, we do. She gave us no, she, she took us out of her suit. Oh, where, where, where? That's crazy. She got her working still. Oh, I I always working. It's a barbershop right I, I, there. Where? Where? I need a cut. What's going on? Oh, wait. Oh, shit. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Sir, sir. Hey, 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 if y'all ever wonder what he looks like without the hat, this is him. I should go up get your video. Yeah, you feel me? Yes, I mean, how you doing? Hey, oh, that boy clean. That boy got one on his back. Oh, he can take it. Oh, no. What is? I'm going to go next. 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 Oh yeah, okay. Okay, take your seat, man. Take your seat. Yeah. yeah. So slight, so slight. Yeah. Yeah. Time, yeah. time. Unfazed. Basketball is unfazed. Yeah. Okay. Take your seat. Take your seat. Yeah. So that necklace. Yeah. Take your seat. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all boys. I'm pretty full, cool, man. I ain't gonna no cap. Stomach hurting this stuff, bro. Hey, man, we still outside. I don't know what we finna get into. They done locate the tool bar. They finna do what they gotta do. No, I lie. I got two kids. We got, <laughs> we got Big Red out right now. See, the all doors open. I still got it, I still got it. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, look at the camera. Oh, look behind me. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm just stumble up my oh my hands up. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Oh hold on, hold on. Trust it in the shit. I hit a ring, let's go. Go! Hold on, hold on. Go. To the crib, nigga. I'm a, I'm a vintage reseller. I don't do that. I don't do sports. Man. Come here. All right, man. So your boy is back in the car. I'm not sure where I'm headed or what's going on. But when I think we're finna go play volleyball or something. Like, not volleyball, basketball. My bad. I think we're finna go play basketball. Whenever we get there, I'm gonna tap in with y'all boys, man. So what's going on, man? So we just landed in back and forth. Actually. Hey, they got hella spots over here for like brands. They do like it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of cool stuff right, bro. We now town forward right now. Content, 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 reels and everything like that. And then I don't know what I got planned later on today. Probably chill. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, I'm gonna tap in with y'all when I pick up the camera to do everything I gotta do. What's yours? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Oh, this on the tube? On the I tube. ain't gonna lie, too. I think my dream car. <sighs> bro, it, I think it's possibly like, I don't have one dream car. Look, yeah. I'm gonna tell you. I want a Tesla. I already got a Tesla. Got the Tesla. Um, I, wa I wanna, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I know this might be TikTok ish, but I want an M4. I want an M4, right? Okay, cool. After that, I want to get me a track car. I need I need a big body track car. Yeah. Then I need me a big truck. TRX. Ah, please. Oh shit. I need me a TRX. Um, and then after that, bro, I need me an AMG. I need me an AMG. Hit it! Hit it! You got oh, hit it too. Damn. Oh, there was it too. <laughs> That whole shooting shots, bro. Ah, leash. Hey, I'm finna take a photo of this. You see this right here? It looks hard. I do hard. see it. I do see it. Huh? Hey, man, make sure y'all get y'all photos in. Y'all look content. Check out this scroll up, bro. Look at right here, man. What a day. Man, what a day. What a day. <laughs> My bad, my bad. So we back in the car, y'all, too. But like I was saying, I got the bread for the scat pack to pay the scat pack. I know I can make whatever it is. Let's say it's 600, 400 insurance, a band a month on a car. I yeah. got that to drop a band on the car, right? Yeah. My savings bag is not as deep as yours, though. How deep right? is yours? It's not too deep because I had to use my savings to move out my crib. Right? Mm, nah, see, I don't so know. I got oh, I got okay. cheese. I got money and I'm making money. That's why I was like, alright, bro, I'm gonna have to delay on the scat pack because I got cheese. I make bread every single day. But what I, if you just, just add, gotta put, I look, put more back? Really think about it though. What if you just look look how much bread we made what four hundred this month off the community? Yeah. What if you just lock in on a community and boost the community and get more heads inside the community? That's more bread. Yeah. Like the community, I've, I've, I'm, I'll be trying. Yeah. Right? It's hard for people who want to put twenty five dollars a month down, but there, there's so many more people who want to be in the community. We just got to keep. They be on. feeling like that twenty five. My bad, I interrupted you. What were you saying? Hey, you good? You good? They be feeling like that twenty five dollars like a month is a commitment. I'm like, bro, you can get twenty five dollars a month. Then, get started today. Look in the school, see if you like it, see if you don't like it. Regardless, based off my manuf manu manufacturer pack, your manufacturer list, you already done really got the $25 back based off what we charge for our services, right? You already got the bread back, and you can still cancel at the end of the day. So you got the game, got to, just paid $25, and you got everything that we posted for that entire 30 days. I don't understand why people like just don't take the risk. I was gonna be cooked. I was gonna take a right. I was gonna take a right. They be speeding too right here. Mm -hmm. 
Nah, but yeah, no, nah, I totally get what you're saying, bro. Like, bro, just think about though. Like, they, 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 this why I like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm even making more bread now for the right. community. That extra two hundred dollars, that's food. That's yeah. That, yeah. that's my food for the yeah. month. That's my food for the month, right? Yeah. Like, that's literally all I need. Cause I only eat like what two meals a day. Cool, yeah. that's it. Nah, so, what's up, what's up. Yeah, that's my food. That's my food, right? And yeah. then the rest, I got a job too. I got a job. Right? You could be working. You yeah. Got a job. yeah, I got a job. So yeah. that's that's even more bread, bro. So Ooh, don't let me go get no job. I feel oh, like yeah, that's that's even more bread. Like See, no, here's the thing with you. I know you feel like you don't need a job, but it's the type of job. It's a certain job you work. Right. I couldn't work at no Walmart. I would not work if I was working yeah. at Walmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the job I got is so simple that it's like. It, it really don't mind me at all, right? Yeah. If it's if it's a job and it's free bread, I don't want to say free bread because you gotta it's work for the money you make. Free bread. But like if you if you gotta, the thing is my time conditions, bro. Like time. Like if it's something online I gotta do, that's fine. But I do yeah. not be trying to that, be yeah, stuck that's, at that's no specific thing. location for eight yeah. hours of my day. I feel like that's literal slavery. Yeah, right? yeah, that's true. But at, I mean, like it's hard to find them online jobs. Like yeah. I was looking before because I'm like, bro, just imagine I'm here on TikTok live. Right. <laughs> all day. Like, cash would be on TikTok Live all day. Right. All day. I'm just building my audience and yeah. I'm working. Yeah. Online. Not for sure. Like, so. I'm, just, and, I'm just managing something. Yeah. And it's also. I remember you used to have an online job, something like that. I don't know what happened. Yeah. You should have kept that whole. <laughs> but also, I'd be like, bro, I don't necessarily need it. It would be cool to have one, but I also feel like a job would take away time that I don't have. Right. Dedicating eight hours to something else I, would take away time that I don't have to be spending dedicating eight hours to something I, else. I, I, I really got eight hours on my head. Right. I, I'll agree on that, but like, you got more time than you think. Yeah. Right. Because, bro, I wake up at what? 5.45 in the morning. I go to bed around 10 o'clock. You wake up at 5.45? Yeah, I go to bed around 10 o'clock. I still get eight, seven hours of sleep, right? Cool. That's enough. That's why, you wake, I need. That's, why you wake up at 5 o'clock? Because I, I gotta get there at seven. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I wake up at five forty-five. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get there at seven, okay. seven o'clock, right? Okay. So boom, I go down there, right? I'm saying, the, like the first, you don't gotta work like the first thirty minutes. It used to be a full hour, but he changed thirty minutes. I don't know why, but you don't gotta work the first thirty minutes. Cause you gotta wait till the sun come up, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Sun come up, then boom, I'm outside. I walk, walk the house. You know what I'm saying? Got to do what I gotta do. Keep your phone. I'm saying, yeah, yeah. Be on the phone, just walking. I be walking like this on my phone, just oh, be chilling. Yeah, I be like looking, just be chilling. Um, I don't be like on social media though, cause nah, I be like listening like podcasts. That's one. That's when the time I listen like Hollywood Shack yeah. and all them. I just be like putting a little game, cause I'm over here just doing something and like I'm actually fully on listening right. to what they are saying and I'm putting all this in. And that's why sometimes I randomly like just hit you like, yo, bro. Hey, this is this is what I'm you know what I'm saying I'm thinking. Yeah. And this is little things I'm thinking. Yeah. That's why I'm not gonna lie. If Hollywood Shaq ain't say that because I, I would have probably like was made made like 10, 15 videos on Instagram. What you because mean? Because I was thinking, right, before Hollywood Shaq said it, he said, like, you don't want people waiting forever, right? Right. And like what we did with the Love Mox. The more they Ooh, see it, yes, the more they, they feel like they waited. Yeah. Exactly. And we that's what we did with the Love Mox yeah. set, right? Yeah. But this one, like, nah, I'ma do like once a week, like yeah. they gonna see it. Yeah. Like, remember, I was dropping on the page, like it was like a TikTok account. Right. Yeah. And I was boom, 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 boom. They was pulling views. Yeah. But it's like at the same time, you gotta understand, like, bro, people want the product right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, bro. So I just made it back to the crib. Me and John went to Target and then I had to grab some food and all that. But yeah, I'm at the crib. Super dirty. I don't want to say super dirty. Super dirty is crazy. It's not super dirty. But I left these hoodies out. My shoes up here when I had to hurry up and leave. So pretty much right now, I'm gonna pick this stuff up. I'm still like ashamed of these hoodie. Like um, like that's so disrespectful to me. But make sure y'all stop the real one for fitlovers.com. But this is so disrespectful. But yeah, so I'm gonna clean all this up and then I'm gonna sit down and talk to y'all boys for a little bit. I ain't even really get a chance to like even clean up before I milk this food, bro. Like it was gone as soon as it touched the table. But yeah, so right now I'm actually about to clean up. As y'all can see, I got all this stuff on the countertop, this stuff on the floor. It's just all disorganized and nasty. Not nasty, because I don't want to say it's nasty because it's not nasty. It's just disorganized. So I'm about to clean up right now. And then I got two calls that I got to hop into to teach people SMS. So if you need help set up your SMS, I'm going to show you a little bit, but I can't show you too much. But if you want the real help, DM me on IG. I can lock All right, man. It's a train outside, but I finally just sat down. I'm going to hop on a call, teach this person how to build and set up their SMS list. I'm going to show you all little portions of it, but I can't give you all the full, complete, entire game. But if you do need the full, entire, complete game on how to build, set up, and run your SMS campaigns, all you got to do is DM me on IG, and I'm going to help you out. But yeah, I got to hop in this call because I actually am late. So I apologize to this client. All right, man. So I just pretty much finished up the SMS call. I told y'all that I was going like, to give y'all some information on it, but obviously I didn't record enough for y'all so it's my bad so if y'all need the sms game like i said y'all do have to dm me alexa off it's currently 12 o'clock and i'm finna get ready to brush my teeth 
wash my face, put my bonnet on and go to sleep because your boy is tired. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. If y'all want more videos like this, y'all gotta let me know down in the comment section. But yeah.